What is good? Diamond Knight is Steve, baby. Y'all already know what's going on in this video today. As you guys can tell by the title of the video, what we're going to be getting into. Make sure that you like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey. Still a whole. Let's get right into the video, man. Let's get it. So Crystal is upset after a clip from her hot seat video with Jazz is going viral uh -oh. on TikTok. Uh -oh. No people in the comment section are saying things like Jazz isn't really happy with Crystal, as mm. well as why does Crystal keep bringing up Tay? Yeah, why would you even bring that up? I know it's a hot seat video, but why even bring that up? But I guess they're trying to get, you know, get the views and give the people what they want. I get it. So, you know, if you say Tay, especially if you're saying her name, bro, people are going to be like, why bring her up in the first place? Hot seat or not, right? So let me know how y'all feel. Should she have read that question and, in, and, you know, included that in the hot seat video for the views? Because she knew people would want to hear that. Or should she have just left that shit alone let me know in the comment section down below how you guys feel isn't really happy with crystal as well as why does crystal keep bringing up tay how do you feel about crystal and tay having words with each other on the net they two grown women if they want to exchange their words and showcase how they feel that's them mm -hmm. that's them so don't try to say i'm bullying nobody because i ain't talking to myself anyways <clears throat> <laughs> Jazz looked like look, I ain't had no choice, guys. You know, like, <laughs> hey, she was gonna do what she was gonna do anyway, right? You know what I'm saying? Like, she looked defeated though. I ain't gonna lie. That's them. <laughs> mm -hmm. That's them. So don't try to say I'm bullying nobody because I ain't talking to myself. Anyways, <clears throat> why don't you ever defend Crystal when she? So Crystal goes. <laughs> why she looks so sad, yo? Anyways, <clears throat> why don't you ever defend Jazz, blink three times if you need help, fam. Tag your man, tag your man if you need some help, fam. Just let us know. All right? Talking to <laughs> Anyways, <clears throat> why don't you ever defend Crystal when she... So Crystal goes oh, onto shit. Twitter and tweets, y'all be delusional. These y'all questions. Don't try to act slow when they're... Yeah, but you didn't have to read that question. You know, I understand it's a hot seat video, but I be I feel like a lot of these people be using these hot seat videos to answer shit that they've been wanting to answer anyway. They just didn't want to look messy, but now that it's a hot seat video, they can mask they can mask the messiness behind a hot seat video. All right? Like that's just how I feel. Some people might just really be doing it, you know, for their fans because they want to give them what they want. But majority of these people really be wanting to answer these questions. They just mask it behind this hot seat shit, y'all. Them videos be dropping. Where's she getting these questions? Y'all, me personally, I don't give a F. I just be giving y'all some to watch and y'all do. And that could be true. So then she <laughs> posts a video of all of the questions that were asked. And she says, Liz, literally nonstop. But there's no need to do that when y'all do it for me. I did that video one hour after posting. This is 24 hour results, Delulu. Hiding behind that fake page, you probably was one of the ones sending them. Then she also goes on to tweet, then miss me with the insecure, as if y'all forgot who the F I am. We don't know who you are. Do y'all know? Does anybody personally know Crystal? Raise your hand. Very secure, and I don't gotta stay nowhere I ain't happy at. One minute I need to humble myself because y'all can't F with me. Then I'm insecure when I address y'all from y'all. I didn't say she was insecure. I just said, you know what I'm saying? Either she doing it for views or she really wanted to address the shit. All right? Not saying that she insecure at all, but we already know Crystal like to talk, okay? And if she got an issue with you, you gonna know about it. So I feel like this was her way of coming out and letting it be known and saying what she had to say, right? y'all comments and questions and she quotes one of the comments that stated she's unhappy you can tell crystal responds with baby what makes you think if i was truly unhappy i wouldn't leave i think it's actually people saying that jazz is unhappy <laughs> comment down below let me know how y'all feel i don't feel like they say that crystal's unhappy 
I feel like majority of people say jazz is unhappy. Every day the sun won't shine, but that's why I love tomorrow. I was ignoring them until they started putting me on platforms trying to tarnish my image. I said what I said when I said it. I ain't going back on what I said. MF has been had my name in the videos the same exact way. Oh, so shut the F up when it's me. I will say that I respect her for standing on what she said, right? I respect her for standing on what she said. That's what I can say. Now she's speaking on Tay is able to mention her name in videos, but when she mentions Tay, everyone has an issue with it. So anyways, you guys let me know what you guys think about that down in the comment section below. Now I do want to speak on this situation with Neek and King. People are a little bit upset with King after a comment Neek made in her recent vlog. What she said? was going for the weekend. Now... He stays with me all week, every week, until the weekend. He goes with his dad two days out of the week. So I remember last time I was telling her that we did it um, week by week, but now since he goes to school over here, or since I'm the only one child capable of taking him to school, then he goes to school for me. a little subtle shade, baby. What was that? Yeah, capable of taking him <laughs> to school. Then he goes to school for my house. With his dad on the weekend, so I'm really excited to see him. So Neek and King originally had it set up where she would have Kaiser one week mm -hmm. and then King would have Kaiser the next week and they would alternate back and forth. Mm -hmm. Well, now Neek is stating that she has him all through the week and King gets him on the weekends mm -hmm. because he's unable to take him to school because Kaiser goes to school near Neek's house. Ooh. Let's read some of these comments that people had to say about the situation. Someone says, I can't stand when fathers claim they can no longer do something and leave everything for the mother to do they need to figure it out just like us then another person states going from a whole week to two days is crazy i can't stand a part-time dad another comment says only the weekends now he no now another commenter stated that is crazy how now King cannot take him to school, but he with Ocean all day. That has something to do with Lena. That is nothing but Lena, but always trying to be like you. Keep your head up, Neek. You are such a great mama. Hey, we don't know what them folks got going on behind the scenes, so I can't really comment on that, but I will say that Neek did seem a little irritated. There was a little slight irritation there, like... Since I'm the only one capable of taking him to school, right? Like, you can't take him just because he's closer to my, you know, house. Just because the school closer to my house don't mean that you can't still take him, right? So, I don't know what the distance is. I don't know the specifics. But, hey... They worked it out how they worked it out, and it is what it is, right? So you guys leave your opinions on this down in the comment section below. I mean, obviously, at first, they agreed to joint custody where they would have him week by week. But do you guys think it's fair that now Neek has him all the way through the week because King cannot take him to school? Or does that seem reasonable because Kaiser does go to school near Neek's house, so it'll be easier for her to take him to school? school every day you guys let me know your opinions on that i feel like they should share in the responsibility to be honest like what is it an hour-long drive to take the kid to school like from kings you know but like i said if they worked it out how they worked it out that's what they did and it ain't none of my business let me know how y'all feel down in the comment section below now i will say that king and lena are moving now they did mention that they were having issues in the apartment that they are renting and they were looking to move on a different side of town now i'm not sure if that's going to be closer to neek if you guys know anything about houston it's really big and it could take you an hour to get from one side to the next i do believe neek is more central houston and king and lena are more on the west side which could be a 30 minute drive but as always i want to know your opinions hey man let me know how y'all feel i also want to address this really quick too i think she want to be anonymous but let me see if she wrote me back y'all okay yeah she said she want to be anonymous one of my lovely supporters all right one of my diamond dynasty baby family members hit me up and sent me leslie's i guess you could say booty picture because ever since she got a bbl she even turned around more often right so 
this picture right here she said look at this picture right here did you see who commented underneath right so i go to the comments i go to the comments right and i see mr for christopher sales leave that girl alone chris Kristen found out that the bitch is single right <laughs> He over here trying to creep his way back, you know what I'm Chris, no more. We don't need these antics. Leave that lady alone, Chris. Leave her alone. All right, so Chris says, you supposed to take pics looking at the camera, not turned around. All right? Somebody said, when I said Chris don't be looking at her pics, then I see your comment. So, Chris is still tapped in and tuned in. No, they do not follow each other. But Chris is still on that ass, okay? This, this is like a Chris Brown Karuche situation, okay? Bitch, I'm still looking at you. I'm looking at you, and I see Josue is ho gone. You know, Josue is no longer in the picture. So uh, let me go ahead and leave this little comment right here. See if I can get some uh, interaction on that bitch, right? So she didn't like it. She didn't comment. I don't know if she giggled behind the screen. I don't know. We don't know, all right? We don't know if they chop it up. Maybe they do behind the scenes. We don't know, right? Let me know how you guys feel. Do y'all think that they talk behind the scenes and they just trying to keep it low key? Do y'all think that Chris is just trying to sneak his ass back into Leslie's life to fuck some shit up? Because whole sway is gone, right? Leave that lady alone, Chris, man. Come on. Chris is living life on the edge every single day, right? Shout out to my nigga Chris. He's doing his thing. Uh, sometimes I wish he wouldn't allow certain women to be in his bubble because some are unworthy, right? But that's neither here nor there. Let me know how y'all feel in the comment section down below. Very interesting, man. Shout out to you. You know who you are. She wanted to be anonymous, so I definitely got to respect that. Shout out to you. And like, if y'all have anything that y'all want me to talk about, make sure that you guys hit me up. Any juicy tea, anything like that. Definitely send me a message on IG. And if you want to be anonymous, just let me know. And the secret will be safe with me. I love you guys. Like, comment, subscribe, all of that. Tell a friend to tell a friend. Tell the angel mama to tell the uncle Joey. Still a hoe. See you guys in the next motherfucking video. I love y'all, man. Peace. We out, baby. <laughs>